on behalf of Society for the Visually Handicapped, I, Hena Basu, am reading title of the book, Women in Early Indian Societies, edited by Kumkum Roy. This is a paperback book. The cover is of beige color. On the front cover, it's written, Readings in Early Indian History, General Editor B.D. Chotopadhyay. There is a photograph of women working in the field. Below that, Women in Early Indian Societies, edited by Kumkum Roy. Back cover. Women in Early Indian Societies is an anthology of excerpts from the works of authors who have shaped our understanding of gender relations in early India. Also included are papers which provide fresh insights or explore alternative paradigms and possibilities. Para, the first section focuses on the diverse issues and perspectives in women's history so as to give the reader an overview of the implicit and explicit debates are methodological strategies and problems. I think there is some printing mistake. Section 2 highlights some aspects of the material context and content of gender relations, especially in terms of property, labor and the impact of processes such as urbanization. Para. Section 3 provides samples of the socio-sexual definitions of womanhood through investigations in polyandry and prostitution and also draws attention to the possibility of regional variations. The last section on religious traditions includes analysis of the goddess cult, women's patronage of religious institutions, and early bhakti movements. Para. The volume contains an editorial introduction which contextualizes the anthology and a detailed bibliography. Next, B. D. Chattopadhyay retired as professor, Center for Historical Studies, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. Kumkum Roy is currently professor. Center for Historical Studies, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. Her publications include The Emergence of Monarchy in North India, 1994, and Research Papers. Her special areas of interest are early political institutions and gender relations. Rupees 375, ISBN 978-81. 7304-3826 Manohar Publishers and Distributors 4753-23, Ansari Road, Darya Ganj, New Delhi, 110002 Website www.manoharbooks.com First page only one line, Women in Early Indian Societies. Next page, blank. Title page, Readings in Early Indian History. General Editor, B.D. Chattopadhyay. Women in Early Indian Societies. Edited by Kumkum Roy. Manohar, 2015. Next page. The editor and the publisher are grateful to the copyright owners for permission to reproduce their papers. Every endeavor has been made to contact copyright owners and apologies are expressed for any omission. First published 1999, reprinted 2001, 2005, 2011, 2015. Copyright Individual Contributors 1999. All rights reserved, no part of this publication may be reproduced or transmitted in any form or by any means 
without prior permission of the editor and the publisher. ISBN 81-7304-062-1 bracket series bracket closes ISBN 978-81-7304-062-1 Published by Ajay Kumar Jain for Manohar Publishers and Distributors, 4753-23, Ansari Road, Daria Ganj, New Delhi, 110002. Printed at Salasar Imaging Systems, Delhi, 110035. Next page, 2, Kanchana and Uma. Next page, Blank. Next page contents no page number. The page number should be Roman small 7. Contents General Editors Profess Roman 9 Capital. Acknowledgements Roman small 11. List of abbreviations Roman small 13. Introduction Kumkum Roy 1. Section 1. Issues and Perspectives, The Position of Women in Hindu Civilization, Retrospect and Prospect, A. S. Altica, 49. Beyond the Alticarian Paradigm, Towards a New Understanding of Gender Relations in Early Indian History, Uma Chakravarti, 72. Women under Primitive Buddhism, Lay Women and Arms, A-L-M-S, Arms Women, I.B. Hona, H-O-R-N-E-R, 82. Section 2, Women and the Economy, Proprietary Rights of Women in Ancient India, N.N. Bhattacharya, 113. Page Roman 8, Tamaric Land, Cologne, women's property rights in Tamil society since early medieval times. Kanakalata Mukund, 123. Quote, rural urban dichotomy, unquote, in the concept and status of women. Cologne, an examination, bracket, from the Mauryas to the Guptas, bracket closes. Chitralekha Gupta, 141. Aspects of Women and Work in Early South India, Vijaya Ramaswamy, 150. Section 3, Sociosexual Constructions of Womanhood, Polyandry in the Vedic Period, Sarvadaman Singh, 175. Prostitution in Ancient India, Shukumari Bhattacharji, 196. Woman and the Sacred in Ancient Tamil Nadu, George L. Hart, H. A. R. T. The Third, two two nine. Section four, religious beliefs and practices, Urvashi and Pururavas, D. D. Kosambi, two fifty five. Women's patronage to temple architecture, Hari Har Singh. 286. The World of the Bhaktin, B H A K T I N, in South Indian Traditions. The Body and Beyond, Uma Chakravarti, 299. Bibliography, 327. Contributors, 337. Next page. Page Roman small 9. General editors profess. Continued in next file. Women in early Indian societies continued. Page Roman 9. General editors profess. Para. There are many reasons why a series of readings are capital purporting to introduce various dimensions of early India will only have an inadequate coverage without a volume of writings on women. It is not simply that gender today is in the air 
or that there is suddenly a tremendous spate of research on women. It is more the way social history is becoming more intelligible through recent studies on women than simply the quantum of writing on gender. Para. The dominant discourse of women in early Indian society derived mostly from Brahminical normative texts has remained confined to women within the household. As daughter, wife, mother and in other capacities, women constitute a practically undifferentiated group with a fixed set of norms and duties they are seen to have adhered to. The historical perspective in this discourse is in tracing their fall from an ideal exalted position in Vedic times reflected in their participatory scholarly and ritual status to stages of decline of that status. In this essentially patriarchal discourse with women as adjuncts, it is women alone as women who seem to have been casualties of upheavals in society. As adjuncts, women are neither active agents in social process nor can they represent variant profiles. Separate studies on women outside the bounds of family bond do exist, but it is the concern about the court position of women unquote as such which has largely determined how women in early Indian society should be written about and generalized. This approach inevitably leads to stereotyping and stereotyping of early Indian women has picked on the by now internalized attributes of natural physical weakness requiring male protection, deeper religiosity, proneness to impurity, and so on. Para. That the historical perspective which has been brought to bear upon studies on women itself has its roots in the ideology of patriarchy is being recognized now. This relationship is evident from an almost uncanny consensus converging in the particular focus on page Roman 10, women in terms of chosen themes and explanatory positions running through varieties of publications. The consensus would even extend to rationalization of particularly vicious modes of women's subordination in ancient texts which would appear incongruous to the sensitivities of sections of patriarchal elites of the 19th and the 20th centuries. Para. The title of Kumkum Roy's collection of writings on women is by itself a suggestion toward the need for a much larger space than has so far been accorded to women in the academic discourse. The historical experience of India in combination with contemporary ethno-sociological realities does indeed point to the need to explore plurality and to strive toward fresh perspectives on gender relations. If the early Marxist writings brought out both the hidden patterns outside patriarchy dominated society as also the basic structure of the subordination of women within the hierarchized order of Brahminical patriarchy, these pioneering efforts are now being carried forward to a more refined understanding of the quote, structural framework of gender relations, unquote, stop. Thus, even within the that segment of Indian society which is bounded by the patriarchy of the Varna based social order, Sri Dharma or the ideal of womanhood is an historical product emerging out of patriarchy's necessity to subordinate women through the social and ideological control of sexuality. 
it is not natural proclivities of women or their biologically determined dependence on males that would define stri dharma para gender relations in historical societies within the overarching frame of patriarchy are inevitably becoming a major focus of the social history of such societies it is hoped that the present volume by kumkum roy will be received not simply as an introduction to the court passive and court world of early indian women but as an essential initiatory guide to the complex social world of early india b d chotopadhyay page roman 11 acknowledgments i would like to thank professor b d chotopadhyay for creating space for this volume within the present series and for his unqualified support in its planning and execution para my brother sumanto has been generous in offering critical comments at a number of points my father has been encouraging while my mother has been a constant and consistent source of strength sharing my concerns and enriching them with her own perceptions bonkim kubisha rina and santosh have been supportive in a variety of ways para some of those whose contributions are included in the volume were interested in what is now defined as women's studies long before the term became fashionable despite their own academic and other commitments they have responded with patience to my queries and to my claims on their time and expertise I am particularly grateful to Professor Shukumari Bhattacharji and Professor N N Bhattacharya for their support. Dr. Chitralekha Gupta and Dr. Vijaya Ramaswamy, friends of long standing, have shared ideas and their work with characteristic enthusiasm. Dr. Padmini Swaminathan, Madras Institute of Development Studies, and the librarian, Newnham College. Cambridge responded promptly to my queries para Mahalakshmi R and Lakshmi Kannan helped me sort out the intricacies of diacritical marks for Tamil I wish to thank Madhu Kishwar for giving permission to reprint material from Manushi I would like to thank Bharati Sood Ratna Kapoor Rekha Basu and Teresa Vijayan who discussed the introductory essay and offered valuable criticisms comments and encouragement i am especially grateful to kanchana natarajan and uma chakravarti many of the ideas which have been worked into the introduction bracket and much else besides bracket closes have grown out of our shared thoughts and discussions over a number of years and it is to them that this volume is dedicated kumkum roy new delhi march 1997 page roman 12 is blank page roman 13 abbreviations capital ab oitoreo brahmana capital ad is within bracket capital a small p capital d s bracket closes apastambha dharma sutra a i n i n i n kuru nuru a i n k u r u n u r u a k akana nuru a n g anguttara nikaya a dot r dot e dot annual report of epigraphy artha dot arthashastra b dot d dot s dot Baudhayana Dharma Sutra, Vikhu Nibhi Bhanga, C M Y dot, Vikhu Nibhi Bhanga commentary, B dot K dot I dot, Bombay Karnataka inscription, C dot H dot I dot, Cambridge History of India, C V dot, Kulla Vagga, C U L L A V H G A. 
DHP Dhammapada DHP.CMY. Dhammapada Commentary E.C. Epigraphica Karnataka E.I. Epigraphica Indica E.R. E. Encyclopedia of Religion and Ethics I.H.Q. Indian Historical Quarterly Jaim J A I M dot B R dot Jaiminia Brahmana J A O S Journal of the American Oriental Society J dot P dot T dot S dot Journal of the Pali Text Society J dot R dot A dot S dot Journal of the Royal Asiatic Society Cat K A T dot G dot S dot Katyayana Grichya Sutra Kaushitaki BR Kaushitaki Brahmana KUR dot Kuruntokai KURUNTOKAI Majima Majima Nikaya Manu dot Manusmriti MHP dot MHP dot Mahapari Nibbana Sutra Sutta M A H A Maha P A R I N I B B A N A Parinibbana S U T T A Sutta M dot S dot M A I T R A Y A N I Y A Maitriyaniya Samhita Parashara S Parashara Smriti P U R dot Purana Nuru Page Roman fourteen R V Rigveda Samvarta S dot Samvarta Smriti Saimi S A I M Y dot Nick N I K dot Sam Yutta Nikaya S B Satapata Brahmana S B E Sacred Books of the East S C S Smriti Chandrika Samaskara Kanda SII South Indian inscriptions Shandu P Skanda S K N D A P Skanda Purana S L A I Sexual Life of Ancient India S V Sama Veda Sutta Nipata C M Y Sutta Nipata Commentary T A Taitiriya Aranyaka T B bracket T A I T tight dot B R dot bracket closes Taitiriya Brahmana Terigatha C M Y dot Terigatha Commentary V dot Venaya Pitaka V dot D dot S dot Vashishta Dharma Shutra Vishnu Vishnu Sriti Text continued in next file. Introduction.